document. Japadia document. It's, it's it. supposed I've, not to be. Uh, I've we, read it thoroughly. Uh -huh. So you realize that there are my, 332, my reading, actually. 332 mining companies. Have you seen that? Yes, the list. The list. 332 mining companies. And the intention to license them or whatever or whatever. So it's across the country. It's across the country. What we must realize this morning is that we still have, according to experts, over 5 billion ounces. if this government had been serious not this government but governments have been serious about implementing the Akilapa report would have been somewhere by now you've heard of the Akilapa report certainly the report that deals with how interests and benefits in the mining sector particularly the gold mining are structured in a way that disadvantages Ghanaians and it's part of that reason why indigenous people are going in illegally instead of formally because whilst you have an illegal structure that benefits foreign commercial interests you don't have a clear legal structure that integrates local mining so uh, 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 what do you call it gtp assets. the gtp is saying that it Which will review it? page 77 under natural resource management is going to review all existing contracts in the natural resource sector with a view to optimizing benefits to the country and enhancing local content. The other aspect is greed. And this, this form of greed is also policy failure because, as I've said before, whenever governments come in with intent, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do that, and their intents are not well thought through and put in the form of actionable, doable policies, they come in, they find they can't carry out their intent because they don't have the capacity or the resources within government to do so. Then they capitulate. They give up and play according to what the powers that be want them to do, which means that they also get involved. So you come in with all the intent. Oh, I'll put my office on the line uh, uh, if Galamsi doesn't work. But what is the end game? If you put your office on the line and it doesn't work, what do you do? Now, it hasn't worked. There was a ban. It hasn't worked. The doctrine of necessity. Both administrations, MPP and DC, they've been burning excavators. They've been seizing excavators. None of that has worked. So who is going to resign from the office? The president or the previous NDC who want to come back still without a clear approach? But when they fail, what happens is that greed sets in. Political operatives jump in. That is why you have people blatantly and brazenly mining by the roadside in Konongo. Now, all over the country, everybody is mining because people want their share before they leave power. Or they are putting people up front to ensure that some money is made because there's no control. You scratch the back of an illegal company and you will find a politically exposed person. You will scratch the back of an illegal company mining in Galamsi and you will find a politically exposed person at the highest level at the middle level at the lower level and it impacts both parties it is not a, uh, the, the NDC couldn't control it their own people were involved and we have the famous tapes where the NDC operatives went into the bush and were telling Galamsi operators that when they come in they will allow them to operate and they will release them from prison and all that so to, to be able to deal with this you must have a structured approach. And the GTP structured approach is that we are going to eliminate Galamse in two years. Flat. How? Yes. How are you going so, to do that? So, so, first of all, you want to enforce existing legislation and regulations against mining water bodies and forests. That's the first thing. Uh, water bodies and forests. Secondly, you want to develop and implement a new business model for dealing with the young people who are involved, we have to accept in principle that it will not go away. And criminalization is not enough. So you have to tidy it up. You have to corporatize the youth. Bring them together in forms that can be transparently managed. As in companies. As in, once they are a company, they are registered. As in, they have records. They have assets. You can track who is behind what. 
and you can give them access to resources you can give them access to technical knowledge so that they mine properly and you can give them access to markets you sanitize them and make it a business a proper business which you can compare to so what they need business. is a way forward on how it, that is what we are saying the now. Value chain. that is what we are saying now. i'm not going to hear to lament to be here to the gtp is not a lamentations document the gtp is an actionable plan that will deal with what we have as a nation and enable that to benefit Ghanaians, particularly the youth who want their way out. The people who are doing Galamsev in those dangerous conditions are not doing it willfully because they love dying. They are doing it because there's no room for them to also express themselves. But as it is being done, it is against the entire country. A few people are damaging large suites of the country for their personal benefit. We can't just lament it. And we can't just criminalize it. We must find a way forward. What is criminal must be criminalized. Those who are mining in water bodies and in uh, forest they must be criminalized and dealt with but for those who are prepared to do proper work we must facilitate them to do the work as it ought to be done so that the nation benefits through taxes through transparent practices you, you understand what i'm saying uh -huh. so we are going to make sure that we grant mineral rights appropriate equipment and facilities technical support marketing and distribution then we need to look at the institutions this business about which is the minerals commission the, all the institutions involved in the area including the chiefs the local authorities and minerals commission this business about the president having given his right to access to land to the minerals commission who then sit in accra take cadastral plans and give out uh, including whole communities villages farms and you know, without going to the ground and have people's properties being destroyed left right and center How should it has it be to done? change when you do legal review, you consolidate mandates, you establish responsibility and accountability. <clears throat> That's the first thing. It is, this is economic governance. You have political governance, the will to do it, and then economic governance is the structures you use to do it. You understand? When you have multiple agencies, nobody is responsible for anything. So you have to consolidate agencies. Establish clearly the responsibility of every agency and establish the mechanisms for accountability, usually including publication. Do you, have you seen uh, the Japa document, Japadia document? It's, I've seen it's it. supposed I've, not to be. Uh, I've read it thoroughly. Uh -huh. So you realize that there are my, 332, my reading, actually. 332 mining companies. Have you seen that? Yes, the list. The list. 332 mining companies and the intention to license them or whatever, or whatever. So, it's across the country. It's across the country. What we must realize this morning is that we still have, according to experts, over 5 billion ounces of gold in the earth. Ghanest, underground. Ghanest earth. Yet to be extracted. Within our borders. Within the country, across the nation. Those 332 companies in Egypt are spread across Ghana. At least 8 to 10 regions of Ghana. If we don't have progressive solutions now, we will be importing water to bath. Not just drink, but bath. That means if you need water to bath, then it means you are at the point where you have to import rivers mm. into this country. Mm. So something must be done. The GTP is prepared. Is a solution for it, that. It, it you is, say. We have. All right. So, no, we are prepared, to have, we are prepared <coughs> to have the public mm. Uh, mm. interrogate the conditions and that's what i'm saying you the must make fix it as so to how they are not to resolve these the are, problem these are actionable policy positions we have taken and and are workable from day one they are not promises we'll do this we'll do that no 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 it's no. the same thing they, right we no. had an interministerial committee no. as opposed that's a promise but that that's an the insane. president even promised was there political will behind he, it he was willing to put he dare say or he dare say at the time that he was willing Lula, to put his presence when he did that what was the accountability was he prepared to resign if it failed you tell what me. is the accountability from him i'm not the president you better ask you the were, president you or perhaps you ask me out uh, what happened you to him sin, of communication sin, was, sin was a policy failure i started by saying that we've had major policy okay. failures right. what has happened to him sin? what has happened to the accusations professor frimpon what mm. he made beyond the Imsing and the reports he made, which have been referred to the CID and all that. Kofi, what has happened to all Kofi, those? Kofi, these, are, these are political ways. These are key we must, we I think must already accept on the, that on the table. we need to go forward. Mm. But the current situation of quasi-criminalization, 
where some people are getting away with it, particularly political exposed persons, mm. and others are being traduced and then it's overall lamentation, mm. whilst the natural resources of the nation are being damaged at a fast rate, will not work. Okay. So, 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 Kofi Amea.